Hey everybody, lately we've been having a lot of support requests on the topic of calculating form fields, so we wanted to put together a quick video um, kind of highlighting and walking you through how to set up a calculating field. Here I have my completed order form. And you can see that when a user selects the shirt size he or she would like, uh, the price in the total field automatically changes. And you also notice that when a user selects a quantity, the price changes accordingly as well. So we've accomplished this by setting up a calculation on the actual total field. And what this calculation does is pulls in the value of the selected shirt size and then multiplies that value by the quantity so that we arrive at our total price. Okay, now let's take a look inside the builder and actually see how we've set this up. Before we get into the actual calculation, you first need to understand how we've tied option values to our t-shirt field labels. If we jump into edit mode for our t-shirt field and click over to the option tab, we see our option labels, small, medium, large, um, and extra large. Those are the actual values that people will select on the form. And then we see option values just to the right. These are associated values with each of our labels. Um, these option values are for the purpose of associating a dollar value with each product on our list. This dollar value is what actually gets pulled into the calculation on our total field. I should mention that adding this dollar value to the option label won't do anything when it comes to the actual calculation. This value is there just so the person filling out the form can actually see the price. Okay, now let's take a look at our actual calculation on our total field. We've jumped into the edit menu on our total field. You will see the calculation box at the very bottom. We've set up an equation to grab the price of the t-shirt and multiply this value by the quantity field. Now I'll erase the equation and let's add it again to show you the steps. This drop down lets you grab the field you want to place in your equation. So we'll take our t-shirt field and we'll have that multiplied by the quantity field. And there's our simple equation. You can get more complicated with your equations if you're selling multiple products or, or have multiple levels to your form. Try to follow the order of operations when building out your equation and use parentheses when needed. If you need a quick refresher on the order of operations, we'll post a resource link below. And one last tip is to always check your form uh, to make sure your equation is operating properly before you publish it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And if you have any other suggestions as far as videos, video walkthroughs that you uh, would like us to do, just leave it in the comments below. Thanks.